going to be a long night. How about some coffee, Johnny? No, thanks. I want the best available man in this. A man who knows that plane inside and out and won't crack under pressure. How about Mr. Rogers? Mayday! Mayday? What the hell is that for? Mayday? Why, that's the Russian New Year. You know, we'll have a big parade and we'll serve hot or dirt. Chief, this weather bulletin just came off the wire. Johnny, what can you make out of this? This? Well, I could make a cap or a brooch or pterodactyl. Um. Johnny, how much more coffee? No, thanks. Oh, what kind there. of plane is it? Oh, it's a big, pretty white plane with red stripes and curtains in the window and wheels, and it looks like a big tile and all. He's off, Rex. He hasn't flown for years. It's not his fault. It could happen to any pilot. It happened to Barbara Stanwyck. You push him too hard. He might break. I remember who you're dealing with. Nick, me, Jared, there's a fire in the barn. Bad news. The fog is getting thicker. And Leon's getting larger. Look at this. Passengers certain to die. Airline negligent. There's a sale at Penny's. All right, I'll need three men up in the tower. You, Nubar, you must see us. Me, John, big tree. Stand by, Stryker. We're going to the tower. Good luck. We're going to the tower. The tower? The tower? Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Your husband and the others are alive. But unconscious. Just like Gerald Ford. Where did you get that dress? It's awful. And those shoes and that coat. Jeez. Temperatures dropping at the rotten oasis. Stealing kisses from the leprous faces. Garbage mentors, mouthwash, jukebox, gasoline. Pistols are pointing at a poor man's pockets. Smiling eyes ripping out of his sockets. Got a devil's haircut in my mind. Got a devil's haircut in my mind. Got a devil's haircut. All right, folks, welcome to the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus with Lou Lombardi and Kevin O'Connor. LudiniRockandRollCircus.com, brought to you this evening by Bowfree, Bow all free. detergent motor oil. <laughs> Every time you use Bowfree, you ain't got to worry free. Yeah, because it's Bowfree. It's Bowfree. Hey, moms and dads, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the circus. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome, for sure. And uh, you're listening, uh, that, uh, well, first of all, I'd like to thank... Um, our friends at Airplane <laughs> for that del- wonderful intro there. The still, best of Johnny from Airplane. It still holds up. It still holds up. It's still great. funny. It's still funny. Um, uh. And you're listening in the background, by the way, to the classic album Eau Delay by Beck. Oh, delay. Oh, uh, boy, I just. Oh, delay. Oh, delay. I could not. <laughs> oh, delay. <laughs> Oh, I could man. not get enough of this when it came out. I just played the living, ever living s out of this over wow. and over and over, and uh, just it's just really creative and really mm. fun, and uh, it's kind of like uh, grunge meets hip hop meets alternative meets right. techno. It's just, just it's got everything. Great fun songs. And speaking of fun songs, we got a great show for you guys tonight. Um, yes. We have every we we've got we're representing a lot here. Mm-hmm. We've got we've got uh, Ram Ramakar from Eugene, Oregon, doing his sort of grungy rock vibe. We've got um, <clears throat> Chip Demonic from Pittsburgh doing their sort of post-punk heavy metal, mm. straight up rock, great stuff. Um, we are gonna we've got a hip hop artist tonight. Yeah, Nate Ski two twenty five. Uh, so we've got a lot of great music today. Plus, we're gonna play a little bit more of my interview with Randy Jackson from. No refund band. Right. So very good stuff coming up for you guys tonight. Let's get right into it, though. Uh, this is Ram Ramakar from Eugene, Oregon. Uh, Ram, thank you so much for reaching out to me because Ram, you know what Ram did? What did he do? You know, I'm going to tell you what Ram did. He, fo- he, followed, he followed 
directions. I said, did he listen to the podcast? <laughs> he followed directions. Were we told folks what to we do. We told folks exactly. He actually listened. Nice. And he and he filled Finally. out he filled out our uh, form online Sweet. and he submitted his music. And so he gets the reward. I was going to say he will play. be rewarded this evening. Yes, we yes. will be rewarded by listening to his stuff. Mama's boy Ram Ramakar on the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus. Yeah. Right, Ow. Ram Ramakar. Uh, he says here on Reverb Nation, uh, first appeared in England, grew up there, self-taught, played blues and folk in the pubs, began writing songs Ooh. after coming to America. RamRamakar.com, R-A-M-R-A-M-A-K-A-R.com. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's got an album he released uh, last August called Beans, of, Beans on Toast. 
Ooh. So check them out, ramramacar.com or Reverb Nation backslash, backslash, backslash. It's quite fuzzy, wasn't it's it? Back, it's that quite sound fuzzy. was quite fuzzy, it wasn't was it? There was a lot of fuzz on that. Like Ram, fuzz, Ram, don't you I? put a lot of fuzz on that, and we like fuzz. We do like the fuzz. We like get a little bit fuzzy once in a while, don't Every we? now and again, you've got to get a little fuzzy. Well, you, you don't I don't know, know why we're British now, but you know, that's how it goes. We're, we're, we're whiffering from Wham Wham a car. <laughs> wham Wham. Ram Ram a car. from Eugene, Oregon. Check him out. On the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus. Special thanks to my good friend Joanne Quinn Smith. She's been, hey. uh, <clears throat> she's now re uh, reblogging our blog on her uh, website. Sweet. So uh, that has picked things up for us. So our listenership mm. is growing mm. exponentially. That's a, that's a big fancy word Expon- for a lot. <laughs> That, 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 that really big, huh? That, but, <laughs> <laughs> exponentially. Hey, Cletus, Cletus, how, you, how, how, how big the exponentially mean? You, all right, would you do, did you ever see one of them big old pickup trucks? Well, yeah, I've never, I've seen a couple of them, yeah, yeah, yeah here and there, yeah. It's, it's two of them. Two of them? That's how big it is! Two, 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 It's grown as big, too big of that pickup truck. Well, yeah, not sir. very good. Yes. Well, we're going to play some good music for you here, not rock and roll straight. <laughs> okay, Cletus, thank you so much. Cletus jumped in there on the mic. I got it. I had to wrestle it back off of him. Oh, my goodness. Uh, as, uh, as Cletus was telling you, uh, you are listening to the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus. Oh, my goodness. Hey, <clears throat> you know, we listen to all these bands. You don't want to know how some of these guys are, uh, like, they just seem to be cranking out songs. Yes. So it's like song, then they do another song. They have song, and right, they play right. record after record. Bam, Joe Bonamassa's got something like what, like 15 albums? Yes. I mean, you know, they just keep cranking out records. Yes. <clears throat> well, I'm going to talk a little bit. I'm going to give you guys a, like a major insight on how to write really good songs oh. very, very, very quickly. All right. Um, and uh, so we're going to talk about that a little bit. Um, but I'm going to do, we're going we're gonna, to, you know, as they would say on My, Monty Python, now for something completely, completely different. different. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, we were talking before uh, we came on air about what is rock and roll. What is rock and roll? And, you know, I mean, I mean, how do you define it, really? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think you can. Uh, I, you know, it's like. Uh, it means different things to different people. Well, we ran a, we ran an article uh, on our uh, social media, uh, something like, you know, the, the 10 most, uh, I don't know, sexy women in, in rock or something mm-hmm, like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, my friend Katie and some other people said, you know, well, you know, these none of these women are really rockers. Oh. You know, they're this is pop, you know, because they like Shakira and people like right, that. Right, right, right. <clears throat> but, you know, I, th- I think that there's an, I think that we have to, we have to be careful when you rule out stuff. Sure. Because then I think that's when a, when a, when a, when a genre starts to kind of become maybe a caricature of itself. Mm. You know, yes. it starts to be kind of come like, you you paint yourself into such a corner that you're not allowing any sort of like new blood right. in, and you know, right. and I mean, I mean, it, to me, rock. The big thing about rock, it's the giant middle finger to the establishment, right? Whatever that is, you the man. So yeah, stick so, it to you exactly. So right. whatever the man, you know. Did you ever see the movie <clears throat> School of Rock? Yeah, and that's that's what Jack. You the man. Like, he says he talks <laughs> about sticking it to the man. It's the way we stick exactly. it to the man. So I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to have a certain guitar sound right. or maybe even any guitar at all i don't know but it's what in my opinion ra- rock is whatever sort of sticks it to the man whatever you're kind of doing you know <clears throat> and there's been some flap about some of the hip-hop artists and rap mm-hmm. artists that have gotten sure. inducted into the rock and roll hall of fame sure um uh but i think that i, I think that we have to be kind of careful before we start saying well this isn't rock and right. this is rock and everything because the, what's going to happen is it's going to go away when you do that because then people that might want to be into it they can't relate or they exactly. feel like that you know they're yeah. being pigeonholed. So, um, this gentleman, uh, uh, Nate, what, what I have, Nate Ski, N A T E S K I, uh, 225, uh, sent me this really cool song. And, you know, I know it's the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus, and I know a lot of you guys are really expecting like a lot of guitar driven stuff, but this is a little bit different. This is a track called Smile, and I really like what Nate Ski's doing. So, um, Check them out. Uh, you can go to Facebook. Go to Facebook. dot com backslash Nate Ski. That's spelled N A T E S K I two two five. And check this out. This is called Smile Remix. Um, and Kevin, be ready because it's got right. a little bit of an abrupt ending. So we've, we you, we have to be on the spot DJs with this one. Oh, all right. We got to be. We can't okay. slack. <clears throat> I'm getting right we've up against the mic here. Okay. All right, <laughs> Nate Ski two twenty five in the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus. All right, people. This song for everybody to have fun. Cause you know what, people out here in this world, we know it's a troubling world in this world, but we need to smile for it. Know, know who we are. Smile! 
I told you it was wow. quick. Boom! Smile. Nate. Nate Ski, 225. Can I tell you something? Tell me something. I like that. It was a lot of fun, wasn't that it? That was a lot of fun. And I was smiling. I was smiling, too. Let me give you a little back, mm. a little bit about yeah. uh, Nate Ski, 225. Wrapping the jams from New York to Los Angeles. Nate Ski currently pumps them out from Fontana, California. Born and raised New York City. Is a serious rapper, lyricist, and writer that writes lyrics that bears a deep message within them. Nate Ski is bent on educating the youth with lyrics that teach real life experiences that youth may be confronted with. Nate Ski uses his lyrics to prepare the way of youth to prepare them for the real world. Although Nate Ski is a serious rapper in his music, he still has a groove that p- makes the body move. Mm. And that's very cool. So go to up. Uh, yeah. I found Nate Ski uh, through, uh, well, actually, Nate Ski. Thank you, Nate Ski, for uh, reaching out to me and sending me your music, man. Yeah. Because we would not have known about no. you. And um, you are now a, a friend of mine on Facebook, and I'm looking forward to a good relationship with you. And you can go to uh, Facebook.com, Nate Ski 225. Outstanding. 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 <laughs> Thanks. Thank you so much, man, for sending your music in. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And, you know, so what? So, yeah. yes, Lou. The, the thing of is, with a lot yes. of people, they want to write. Well, a lot of you guys, they want to write songs, mm-hmm. and you're going like, "Oh, but it takes forever." Like you're sitting in like waiting, you know, um, for yeah. the inspiration to come. Oh, inspiration, come to me. <laughs> la 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 la. Chicka chicka boom. Right? <laughs> okay. And you know, you're doing all kinds of stuff that right. you shouldn't. You know, that you don't necessarily need to be doing. You're smoking weird things and drinking weird things yes. and thinking, "Okay, this is going to get it." Okay, just let's 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 take a giant, giant step back. Okay. Okay. Now, now there is there's an old expression: uh-huh. more than one way to skin a cat. Right. That is true. Okay. So, and, and so I'm not telling. I'm not. I'm, what I'm about to tell you guys, what I'm about to share with you, is not the way. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, it is a, a way, way that yeah, may right. help you. Or you might say this is the biggest bunch of bull crap I ever heard and, and throw it out. And I, I would do never it. Okay. say that about you. Okay. <laughs> never. But um, <laughs> here's here's how I, here's how I I'm doing a new record and I'm crank and I'm putting together the songs very very quickly. Unlike my last record, which took four freaking years. <laughs> yes, shame on me. Naughty. Okay, uh, but that wasn't just because of the song. Right, there was some other stuff which I'll we'll share or we'll talk about because oh, you guys are going to learn from my screw ups. How about that? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> but um, awesome. One, one of the things that um, one of the ways that you can uh, speed up how many songs you write and how uh, how much material you can generate and how quickly you can get a record out. Okay, is to concentrate on what is most important first. Okay. Now, um, there is. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get into this. Um, what is most important in most songs? What's the Kevin? What do you think? What, what would you say is the most important part of the song? Wow. Um, well, I like a good hook, like this. Yes. Let's go back for that a second. Listen to this. Right. That's the hook, really. She's alone in the new pollution. Right. Okay. Um, it's a. Uh, it's a. It's a sort of image evoking lyric. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's got a. It's got a cadence that you can kind of keep mm, up with. You right. can kind of hum along. You find yourself in the show. She's alone in the... Okay. And right. it's got like a cool vibe. Mm-hmm. There's, a, there's a yes. beat there and some yes. sounds. Okay. That... I don't know how Beck wrote this song, but I would venture mm-hmm. that he came up with this idea. She's alone in the new pollution. And that stuck. And he thought, well, what would that sound like? And listen to the rest of the song. Let's, let's listen to some of the other stuff in the song. Listen to this. Here's a sax solo. Listen to sort of like wash of like sounds behind that Mm -hmm. it's almost like a fog of sound exactly it's pollution right yes real trippy drippy and it's and and you know when you think about when you you know the ecology movement in the 60s i mean we're kind of old enough to sort of like you know remember seeing little things about that on tv Mm -hmm. when we were kids yeah um so it it has that sort of 60s sort of you know vibe yeah vibe you know what i mean so, um, so he took the hook. She's alone in the new pollution. Used his imagination. Oh, I think sixties ecology, right, right. drippy, trippy. Okay, and he formed that. Mm-hmm. Then he built the rest of the song around it. Okay. Okay. So once you've got she's alone in the new pollution, mm-hmm. the rest of it. I'm not saying the rest of it's meaningless, but the rest of it will come together a lot quicker. Now, right. now I can give right. you guys as time goes by. I'm going to give you guys more hints and tricks and tips on how to put the rest of it together very very quickly. But this is the thing I want to get at you guys tonight. Build the hook first. Yes. Now we took and, and usually the hook in most pop rock stuff, eighty percent of it. Okay, is some sort of like cool lyric. With a beat Mm -hmm. and some sort of melody. Right. Okay. So those are the kind of the three main things. When I say beat, you can say groove, riff. If you're like a guitarist, Mm -hmm. you might think riff. All right. Now, okay, I know a lot of you are, you know, probably like screaming at the computer (laughs) saying, well, what about Tom Sawyer and Stairway to Heaven? And All right. All right. All right. There's always, there's other ways of doing it. And I said that at the beginning. Exactly. All right. This is a way. This is a way to put together a certain kind of thing. In a lot of rock, in a lot of genres, from metal to what you're listening to right here, to to country rock, Mm -hmm. to uh, hip hop, to whatever it is you're doing, has that idea. I mean, you know, let's party, like it's your birthday. You know, I mean, that's a hook, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. With that Mm -hmm. beat and the the cadence and the way it puts the whole thing together, all right? So if you can develop that, then you can decide whether or not you're going to write the rest of the song. Because right. if the hook sucks, well, then you know you, you don't you yeah, know what I mean. Bother, yeah. So here's what I would here's what I would challenge you guys to do: thirty hooks in thirty days. Wow. Now you don't have to produce. I wouldn't tell you to produce the whole thing. I would like to hear it. I'd like you guys to email me your hooks. It'll be very interesting. Oh, to hear there you go. Yeah. Um, no, no, I'm not going to steal anything. Okay. <laughs> um, but here's 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 what I say: do thirty hooks in thirty days. Um, here's how to do it. Okay, just do it on a basic recording device. S- you know, hum, uh, put together the basic melody. Even if you don't have the whole melody 
or you don't have the whole lyrics. So, so maybe you're doing a call and response song. I've, I've got a song called Medicine. You guys have heard I've played it on the mm-hmm, podcast mm-hmm. many times. You yes, know, yes. Um, uh, you know, medicine. I'm the man with the medicine. Call me up. I'll bring the med. So all if you know is medicine. Bop, bop, bop. Pop medicine, like whatever. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's cool. Okay, get that. Get the basic beat and the basic kind of m- melodic thing that you're doing. Like mm-hmm. Some kind of groove. Mm-hmm. You can do it however. You can just, you know, just play a guitar, you know, the guitar part, and sing it. You can just, if it's not really a guitar thing, and you want to tap it out like that, you know, and get it, get it laid down on some type of recording device, your iPhone, whatever. All right, <clears throat> and then move on, and then do, then tomorrow do another one, and do thirty in thirty days. Songwriting is like anything else, guys. Songwriting is a lot like dating. It's a lot like sales. <laughs> it's a numbers game. <laughs> exactly. The more you do it, the more you're, you're going to hit something that's going to actually work out right. for you. Uh, so you do 30. Let me here's the give you the, the law of averages of how this is going to work out. You do 30 in 30 days. Okay. At the end of the 30 days, you got 30 hooks. Okay. 10 of those hooks are going to be pfft, crap. You wouldn't want to wipe your butt with them, okay? They're going to be just junk. You're not, you know, they're going to, they're not going to interest you. They're not going to excite you. They're not going to interest or excite anybody else. 10 of them are going to be like, oh, these are kind of cool. There's mm-hmm, some potential mm-hmm, here. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Maybe if I tweak this or tweak that, or maybe if I develop this or develop that, or maybe it depends on like the, you know, a cool guitar riff or a cool beat or whatever, but I could turn, turn that into something. Okay. Right. And, and then there's going to be another 10 to be like, these are really awesome. Mm-hmm. These are like really, really cool. And I guarantee out of those ones that are really awesome, really, really cool. You've got two, three, maybe even five that could, if given the chance and all the stars lining up, right. Could be hit songs. Yeah. Okay, it's this isn't rocket science. It's just doing. Okay, so commit to write 30 hooks in 30 days. You're going to end up with 10 really awesome things, 10 things that you can eh, kind of do, maybe do something with at some point, and 10 you're not going to do anything with. But that's not really bad. I mean, you still no, end up you with got, you got 10 things. Yeah, you got 10 things right there. Okay, so if you take those 10 that you really like, and then you then you make now you got a record. Yeah, and you just go ahead and you fill it. You you fill in the blanks, and we'll talk a little bit more in future uh, podcasts about filling in the blanks. Excellent. So concentrate on the hook. That is the most important thing. That's the essential thing. Don't worry about everything else. Don't don't worry about what the verses are going to be or what the guitar solo is going to sound like. I mean, if you get inspired on that, you might want to make a couple of notes or right, something right. like that. Sure. But generally, once you get the hook, then you're going to be able to kind of fill in the blanks a lot easier. And if you can't, mm-hmm. don't worry. We're going to help you do that. So that is your uh, that's your tip from Ludini for the week from, um, from Uncle Lou from Uncle Lou and uh, <laughs> just because I'm in the mood. <gasps> Have a gay old time with the Flintstones. There you go. Yeah, this mental picture of John Candy riding in the Greyhound bus. Remember that? <laughs> Planes, trains, and automobiles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Three coins in a fountain. And, and, and No, nobody's singing that. And then John Candy's like, Flintstones, make the fun. Everybody joins in. Good a stuff. Classic. Good stuff. Um, Chip Demonic on the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus. We'll come back and talk a little bit about Chip cuz I've been plathering on for a while now, but just crank this sucker up. This yes. is this is crank it up stuff on the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus. Chip Demonic. Yes.
colors we bleed They won't forget the Memphis Beast Suppressed, unite, clinch fist We fight, thanks are ready to bite We'll show the world tonight, tonight We'll show the world tonight Wow. Chip DeMont. Man, that is some killer stuff, huh? No kidding. That rock, rocked hard. These guys are from Pittsburgh. Uh, Chip, of course they are. Chip Demonic. Let me spell Demonic. D-I-M-O-N-I-C-K. Oh. Uh, Chip Demonic. Uh, you could check Tip Chip. Well, let me say that again. You could check out check out Chip. Check, chip Checker. Chip Checker. This is from your Chip Checking Check your Chip Checker. Out. Chip Check. Oh, check, my check. God. Check out Chip Demonic at uh, on mm-hmm. April tenth, uh, uh, ten p.m. at the Hard Rock Cafe. Wow! I'm hoping that is uh, this year and not last year. <laughs> um, so check them out April tenth at the Hard Rock Cafe, Pittsburgh. Slam and stuff. I mean, come on, dude. I mean, that oh, yeah. just it kicked that, me right in the head. That was yeah. That was some. Serious. Then I got up and kicked me in the other side of the head, Lou. Oh my! Yeah, God. that's awesome. Well, anyways, um, we're running out of time here, but I want to play this. Uh, this band, mm-hmm. uh, this is another band that contacted me. Now, I can't, what's happening, it's getting, uh, <laughs> the marketing is working so well that we're starting to get to the nice. point where I can't play everybody every week because <laughs> I'm getting too many requests. We, we, but I got to play like this It's like a three-hour show. I know, I know. <laughs> well, we, you know, we'll have to talk to Joanne about maybe expanding things. Uh, thanks yeah, to Joanne Quinn Smith of Positively Pittsburgh Joanne. Live. Thank you so much, Click Vodka, for uh, uh, helping us get things together here. Um, but this is a very cool band that contacted me, the Velveteen Band. Ooh. Yes, T H E V E L V E T E E N B A N D. The Velveteen, Velveteen band. band. Actually, they're not, not heavy metal. No, um, <laughs> we are. But they're not. <laughs> we are. We're just sort of screwing. We're having a good time. I'd like to thank the Flintstones. Uh, I would like to thank them too. And I would like to thank uh, Nate Hold on. Ski two two five. Hold on, to me, sweet pea. Hold on. Speak to me, baby. Mike. Speak to me. Say me something good now. Speak, speaking, ah. speaking, speaking, speaking uh, of the Flintstones. Uh, speaking of the Flintstones. Uh, uh, Wilma or Betty? Oh. Wilma or Betty Lou? Mm. Yeah. Mm. I know who I like. Do you know who? I don't know, man. You know what they say about them redheads are crazy. Yeah, that's you know why I'm I mean? going with Betty. You going with Betty? That's why I'm going with Betty. Betty's a brunette. I know. I know what to. Yeah, I know what to expect with her. <laughs> it may not be crazy, may not be too wild, but I know what to expect with her. You All know, right. man. I tried to watch. Um, speaking of cartoons, <laughs> I tried. I tr- really. You know, I loved 
Yes. Um, uh, Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Yeah. Right? Sure. And I got, I watched them. I tried oh, to watch the movie. No. I couldn't. I couldn't yeah. do it. I just thought it was like. So I think certain things should be left alone. Well, they, they lost the sort of vibe. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I understand, you know, we've got computers and we can make it look almost like real life. Yeah. But there's a certain charm about that. Old school, old school anime cartoon. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, a cartoon, not not a not an animation, a cartoon. Yeah, it's sort of not yeah. supposed to look real, right? You know, you just I you know, know. Um, and I mean, That's and, right, I, oh, and, and you know that wasn't so bad. But what I didn't really, they tried to bring in like um, issues, like they talked, they tried to make it about oh, bullying and stuff. Yeah, like, really? Come on, man, what, you, 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 don't mess with my cartoons. It's yeah. like. Entertain me, like I love when they would go back in time and they would end up, they would like screw up the the, the history, you know what I yeah, mean? It would like, yeah, they would, you know, it was yeah. fun, you know. Mr. Peabody's way back machine. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, so we've had some great bands right. tonight. Uh, Ram, Let's get back Ramakar. to Ram yes. Ramakar. Uh, Ramramakar dot com. Reverb Nation uh, backslash Ram Ramakar. Ram fuzzy. Ramakar. Good bluesy, mm. fuzzy, fuzzy. Fuzz. We, we love the fuzz. I like the fuzz. We like it to get a fuzz. So thank you, Ram, <laughs> and thanks again, buddy, for sending us your stuff. Definitely. Um, Nate Ski two two five. The smile. That was a mixing very, things up, man. And I love up. it. Yeah, it was good stuff, man. It was really good stuff. Ow. So, so you guys in my audience that are like, you know, oh man, it's all about the guitar. Well, check out a little oh. Nate Ski because man, yeah. that's very cool jam. Smile. We really enjoyed. Uh, we really enjoyed that. Um, what I did not get to tonight was uh, my interview with Randy Jackson. We will play uh, Randy more of Randy's interview next week yeah. um, uh, when we can play a, another No Refund Band song. So yeah. uh, we'll get back to you, Randy. Um, so uh, Chip Chip Demonic C H I P D I M O N I C K. He's a uh, Pittsburgh boy now. He's a Pittsburgh guy, and he rock. They rock. He yeah. they. I'm not sure. I'm not seeing a bio, so I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but uh, they rock. They Please do. check them out. Uh, ChipDemonic.com. Uh, like I said, April 10th, 10 p.m. at the Hard Rock Cafe in Sunny. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Now we're going to wrap up with this very cool band, the Velveteen Band. Mm. Um, very cool, like new wave ish. Unlike, but but like old school, like okay. we grew, we growed up with. Oh, b- back in the day, Nat. <laughs> All right, <laughs> new wave. Uh, you were listening to uh, the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus with Lou Lombardi and Kevin O'Connor. All right. That's, All right. That's me. No, that's not you. That's me. I'm sitting right here, Lou. <laughs> is that you, Kevin? Don't act like I'm is not that, here. Is that you, John Wayne? Is that is this me? Is that you, John Wayne? Who's that uh, man? Who's that man? <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll leave it there. Uh, LL Strange Love on Twitter. Um, do not forget to go to Ludini Podcast. Uh, dot weebly uh, dot com to uh, check out the blog with f- full write ups and all the acts that we played tonight. Yes. And this is a great band. We're gonna we're gonna leave you with ah the Velveteen Band. I'm trying to get an idea of where I'm looking at their website, Kevin, and I'm yeah. not seeing. I don't see any. I don't see like where they. Oh, here, meet the band. Meet Let's meet the, them when you meet the band. <laughs> All right. Okay, but what this, we got is the, here? this is the Velveteen Band. Velveteen Band is an eclectic musical sideshow. Oh, you got it, you guys. You got to go to the website. This is they've, they've got like a oh, cool thing wow. now. These guys it looks like a lot of fun, um, uh, uh, which delivers a Wonderland dreamscape set to capture the imagination and rock you to the core. Theatrical rock ensemble features puppets on vocals. And a deranged mad scientist, and he's <laughs> led by six foot trumpet playing rabbit named Baron von Velveteen. Sure. For fans of Gorgo, Bordello, Aquabats, Danny Elfman, Weird Al Yankovic, they might be giants and the Muppets. Well, so that go. they're in good company. So if yeah. you're into that sort of thing, you want to check them out. Check out the website. Uh, check out the website, the, Vel- cool. the Velveteenband.com. And uh, this is a track of theirs called In the West, a Robot. Oh, in the West, a robot. Don't forget, guys. What are you going to do? You're going to write thirty hooks in thirty days. Thirty hooks, days. thirty days. Thirty hooks in thirty days. Uh, the Velveteen Band. We leave you with in the West, a robot. Thank you so much, to Ludini Rock and Roll we'll Circus. See you guys. Ludini Rock and Roll Circus dot com. 